ladies and gentlemen we finally know how we're going to get our hands on ragnar prime here in rise of kingdoms as well as the new will to skill event which will give players some bonus rewards for investing in universal legendary commander sculptures into select commanders and so today we're going to be talking about both of those things as well as maybe a couple of other things that were shown over on the official rise of kingdoms youtube channel that are coming with the new thanksgiving update so make sure you stay tuned but first what's going on guys cheers if you guys appreciate breaking news for rise of kingdoms drop a thumbs up in the video it really helps out the channel a ton okay we can finally put the rumors to rest we know exactly how you get your hands on Ragnar Prime as of the posting of this video there is the Legend of the North Sea event on day one you will just get Ragnar you just log in you click the free button it summons him for you and you're done that's it you have Ragnar Prime you could do whatever you want with him you can either expertise him with Universal Sculptures or you can proceed through the Legend of the North Sea event to get your hands on more sculptures of him now how else can you get sculptures well of course you could see here that there is a 499 bundle that will give you 10 more sculptures of Ragnar Prime which I think honestly is a fair deal because normally we do see the five dollar writer of history bundle pop up which gives you 10 legendary commander sculptures now that also has some other goodies in there as well but I think most people buy that for the legendary commander sculptures so if you are going to expertise Ragnar Prime or invest in him to some degree and you are a low spender this might actually be something that is worth it for you so you don't have to spend 10 more universal legendaries you just get that beyond that though we do see that day two two and day three have additional rewards that are literally free you get five sovereign keys five hours of healing speed ups 10 resource chests day three is going to get you two golden stars a bunch of experience some more speed ups these are universal and some more resources day four is where things change a little bit we have yet another bundle for Ragnar Prime and this just shows a portrait of Ragnar so we don't actually know how many sculptures you get for 9.99 I suspect that this is 10 more sculptures right it's just a little bit bizarre that they didn't just show the 10 heads like they did for the previous one so who knows maybe we'll get more clarification on day four as to how many sculptures you get for that however if you did want more sculptures of him this would be the way to go day five you get more free stuff day six you get even more free stuff and then we have day seven a 20 dollar bundle we have day eight and more free stuff day nine another 20 dollar bundle and finally day 10 I believe is the last day of the event I know my head's in the way here but there's just uh 20 resources right here and then we get 10 more sculptures for free and 10 of the sovereign keys now here's the thing that I'm curious about for this event are days you know the days with bundles here do they have any sort of free component or not I really hope that they do but based on how this looks it seems like they don't because if we take a look at this very first day here you see two cards one free card and then one paid tier and then if we kind of move forward it looks like for this day four there's only one visible card so I don't know if there's actually a free tier for days four seven nine and whatever um I hope that there is because if we take a look at the very beginning of this event here we actually get some more information and it says that new bundles are unlocked each day and you can only claim a day's reward bundle once you've claimed all previous days bundles so what does that mean that if there's a day where you can like for example make a purchase let's say there's no free bundle on day four are you able to claim what's free on day five and day six right because based on the wording of this it says you can only claim a day's rewards if you claim previous days well if there's a day where you can only get the rewards by spending money well then does that mean that all future days are now locked I have no idea how that's going to work I hope that's not how it works because that would feel pretty bad right but regardless at least we know on day one you will get Ragnar Prime for free for those of you that are low spenders this means that you also are going to get a writer of history model pop up that is always kind of nice when a new legendary comes out but let me know what you guys think about the Legend of the North Sea event down below I think there are a lot of free things here which is really nice at least confirmed for the first three three days minimum right but let me know what you guys think about this the real question is how are we going to get Ragnar Prime after this event is over like this is a 10 day event right you get your hands on Ragnar what happens after that does he show up in I mean they've said he's not a wheel of fortune or mightiest governor commander so does that mean he's just going to be thrown in the sovereign keys like where where are we going to get him down the line right that's what I'm really curious about um and I think that's what a lot of people are mainly 
con concerned about, right? Because it, he could go the same route as like Margaret or Gajamata, something along those lines, right? Which I don't love. I don't love the idea of like just having a one time thing and then you can only get him from like an RNG sovereign key thing, right? I don't love that. So hopefully they have some other way of getting him later down the line. Who who knows? But anyway, with that being said, let's move on to the will to skill event. This is a brand new event, which I actually really, really like. I'm going to move my head over here for a second. So basically, this is, a, I guess, a two day event where you get extra rewards for investing universal sculptures into commanders that are on the list of commanders that will give you these rewards for this event so here we can see that if you exchange and use 10 sculptures to upgrade a designated commander you get your hands on free speed ups and some resources and a boost this this one is not really worth anything right like at the end game i have no use for these i have barely any use for this right i've got a billion of these so really it would just be for the for the resources next is 50 universal commander sculptures invested into a commander this one is actually kind of nice 10 gold stars 20 gold keys some universal speed ups some nice resources here we have a free talent reset and 10 bundled golden stars we have 50 speed up choice chests and we have 60 of the resource pick one chests as well this is for 100 legendary commander sculptures moving forward we have 150 legendary commander sculptures and this is where things get really interesting you get basically one free legendary pick one chest uh for your materials of course we have a thousand gems we have a bunch of healing speed ups and more resources here we have for 200 sculptures a free skill reset 2000 gems even more healing speed ups and even more resources so this is very interesting especially when we take a look at which commanders qualify because it's not actually just legendaries bjorn ironside also qualifies here so if you haven't expertise bjorn ironside yet then this is going to be a lot of really good value you can literally get you know 3000 gems a bunch of you know resource pick one chests a skill reset some gold keys tons of speed ups like you can get all of that for just like putting 200 sculptures into bjorn which is kind of crazy like that's insanely good value like you have to you have to do that right if you haven't done it yet this is the time to do it what are you waiting for right so that's really cool it is a bummer though that like for me bjorn and herald are already expertise right and so i have no way of getting this value unless i go for ragnar prime which is fine the other thing is that ragnar regular ragnar is not on here right and so i wonder how this will change if this event is live in let's say a kvk2 kingdom will they also get this event with the exception of it just being bjorn and regular ragnar possibly right is that how this is going to work i have no idea because two of these commanders are not available in you know they're only available in season three and beyond so that's very very interesting um the other thing worth noting here is that this is a two-day event and i'm wondering if this is going to function just like the more than gems event right because more than gems event resets every day and it's twenty five thousand gems per day but what you can do is you can put seven thousand gems on one day then it resets and then you can do seven thousand gems on the next day um i think that that would be really cool because if you can get these things twice that would be really really nice right i mean you put 200 sculptures in the bjorn one day 200 sculptures in the bjorn the next day boom you just got yourself you know six thousand gems two legendary material chests for what for some universal epic heads like that is the best trade deal in history uh and even you know even if you're doing this for legendaries right let's say ragnar prime this is the time to do it right if you're going to dump sculptures into a legendary and you you anticipate doing it at some point in the future this might be a really good time to do it because you literally just get free gems and free things for doing it right some of this stuff is not that useful right like we have some you know like i said for 10 sculptures you get like some building speed up stuff that's not that worth it but if you're gonna go all in if you're gonna do 200 sculptures at least the first day go ahead and do it uh but if this resets for both days this is an incredible event that makes this even more value i, I would i hope that's how this works um, i don't think it really specifies here so we're not gonna know until this actually comes into the game but it's important that you have to use the sculptures you can't just exchange them you must use them it says sculptures used after the event will not count towards your event progress so keep that in mind but yeah i really really like this event this is amazing i i hope that we continue to see this event come around more down the line for commanders that you know have some good value there i think this is a great incentive to 
get players to spend those heads on these commanders especially when there's a new commander here that is extremely powerful it's a no-brainer right and especially when you have a very free-to-play friendly option in Bjorn Ironside like you might as well do it I wonder if they're going to do this in the future for more epic commanders right like we know a new civilization is coming in the next couple of months uh you know three six months whatever it is and you know we're going to get probably a new epic with that and so could they possibly do this event again with that new epic that means that it's probably best to not invest in that epic commander on day one right like that's my plan moving forward with epic commanders because this kind of just changes the value of epics completely um there's no purpose there's no point in expertising epic commanders if you're in season of conquest you're never going to use them the only exception is maybe a gatherer right or a peacekeeper but beyond that there's no value in them and so now that this event exists and the possibility of this event exists moving forward any new epic commander that comes in the game I am going to leave them with no investment, right? Because this is just free value. And so you might as well do that. Now, the last thing I just want to mention about the will to skill event is that it says details are subject to the official update in game. And so obviously like these dates that are shown here are, have already passed. Right. And so maybe like it just shows two different days in the event server, but possibly it's only around for one day, right? Like for a full 24 hours, which is why it shows this. So I don't want to get anyone's hopes up, right? Like I don't actually know until this comes to the game. So don't get too excited. This could just be a one day thing. You just do it. You're done. And even still that's amazing value okay it's amazing value even if this is only one day putting 200 sculptures into either Bjorn or to Ragnar Prime you're getting free value there it's great especially because it's 200 sculptures that's enough to get a 5511 for example which is really really nice what I will recommend players to do is if this does come into the game as a two-day event okay what I would recommend is summoning Ragnar for free obviously you, you get it for free from the event um if you're going to buy that five dollar bundle go ahead and do it get your five dollar writer of history bundle that sort of thing and then if you know that you're going to like max Ragnar right then put the 200 sculptures into him that day right get him to 5511 or whatever and then claim your rewards and then stop there don't max him on day one right because if this is a two-day event then on the next day you might be able to again this is all speculation but you might be able to put 200 more sculptures into him and get this value again and if that's the case you're not going to want to miss that that's literally 3,000 gems that you just get for free a free an additional legendary material choice chest or four purples however you want to look at it and another uh skill reset right um, that's possible I don't want to say that's how it will work it might work that way based on what I see here so that's the way that I'm going to be approaching maxing Ragnar Prime I will not be maxing him on day one because there might be some more free value that be had here and also if this is for example a two-day event what I would do is then on the second day put another 200 sculpts into him and then leave him there and then either buy the rest of the bundles for the the whole 10-day event or if you don't want to spend the extra 50 bucks or whatever it comes out to um then you just max him on with your universe after this event is over and then you're good to go anyway moving on the other thing I wanted to touch on here and by the way this video was posted on the official rise of kingdoms YouTube channel so I will try to remember to link it down below so you guys can watch the whole thing because I'm not going to cover everything here we touched on a lot of this in my recent update video anyway but they talk about like they show the new arc map and the new champions of Olympia map and all that other stuff so if you want to watch the full video it'll be linked down below but I did want to touch on this over here um we do have confirmed level 40 barbarians in home kingdom and we have of course the level eight resource nodes in home kingdom which is insane this is insane this is a massive bump up for your resources I remember back in the day um we only had levels one through six for resources but their values I believe were cut in half uh when the game first came out right um and, and I don't mean that they cut them in half I mean that when the game first came out the resource nodes were half as valuable as they are now if I'm if I'm remembering the math correctly I think it was uh it, it was a doubling right um, so at some point they doubled, I believe you can correct me in the comments. I believe it was doubling of the resource node, you know, value. Um, and now not only do we have that, but now we're getting up to level eight resource nodes, which is insane. Typically, this is only something that you would see, um, in KVK maps, right? And so to have this in home kingdom is incredible. This is very good for, I mean, this in combination with the, you know, resource refund after KVK is really going to enable players to fight a lot more in KVK. The, the, the resource bottleneck is going to be alleviated somewhat by the ability to get more resources in off season and to get some back after KVK 
this is an amazing this is an, an amazing change right this is objectively very very good for the game um, again level 40 barbarians i suspect that they're you know the drops for these guys are going to be very good as well uh, obviously they're not probably going to have crystals in them because there's if you're in home kingdom there's no crystals right but hopefully their the rewards will be scaled up uh to what the level 40 rewards would be as well i can't wait to see what they are in home kingdom but regardless chaining level 40 barbs is probably the new meta okay and i think it's about time because level 25 barbs are just such a joke these days i can't even send all five of my marches to attack a level 25 because the march speed is off by a few seconds and by the time like four of my marches start hitting it or three of my marches start hitting it by the time that the other two marches get there the barb is already dead and so level 40 barbs is amazing more rewards more value for the chainers and better resource farming is great the big question though is what about forts they didn't say anything about forts are we just going to keep level five forts that seems a little bit weird it seems a little bit out of place everything else on the map is getting enhanced and forts are not um that leaves the question of like is is you know spending ap on forts is that still going to be worth it uh or should you just be farming and chain chaining level 40 barbs that's probably the way to go but you know those alliance gifts are really nice the bonus ap for fort grinding is very nice as well so you know it, it is what it is we'll have to see how that uh, sort of meta changes with this but i am extremely excited for level 40 barbs because i hate doing barb forts so if barb forts are no longer the meta for ap spend that's fine by me don't like doing barb forts i don't like waiting five minutes i don't like waiting for people to join i don't like when people don't join and then it get canceled and i gotta do it again uh it i don't like how i can only do one at a time right i can't just do five barb forts at a time like and just max that out um so yeah i'm really stoked about this this is very exciting next they showed the uh, brand new king skill which i know some people were very upset about uh because this is a soft soft nerf uh, or a soft debuff to ranged um which i think is fine we have a inspire skill it says all of your kingdom's melee troops that are within a certain range of the inspiring troop when this skill is cast will take 20 percent less ranged damage and deal 50 percent more counter attack damage for the next five minutes with a 45 minute cooldown so this will not be as you know it won't be as gem draining as the leader skill here it's only got a five minute cooldown for 10 minutes um this is a five minute buff but a 45 minute cooldown so it's not going to occur very often but if there are some very tight map positions where you know the range troops are actually dominating and they are actually a problem you can pop the inspire skill and it will uh, help you out with that, which is very good. I'm, I'm happy to see this. I honestly don't think this is going to change that much for ranged, honestly. I mean, a 45 minute cooldown is kind of a long time. And so I think ranged for the most part are not going to be feeling the effects of this. Um, so we'll see how this evolves over time. It's crazy that it's a shorter duration for like nine times the cooldown right uh but it is it is still quite powerful so this is very cool so we'll see how this goes also we don't know what the gem cost is i don't think they actually show that here we'll just have to wait and see for this to come in the game you guys can let me know what uh you think about this as well here they go over the um you know the talent optimizations where you can see how many governors choose these things i'll let you guys check out the official video if you want to know more about that but today's video just wanted to cover the confirmed ragnar prime unlock method we also have have the brand new uh will to skill event which i'm really happy about thanksgiving events and we have the new um level 40 barbs and resources these are all amazing updates um i think personally okay if, if you want my full feedback i think that this event for ragnar is okay but it wasn't i mean they i feel like they could have done something way way cooler right i think ragnar prime has a lot of hype around him i think people are really excited about him i feel like they could have they they like they, they the scene was set for them to you know make this something really cool i was pulling for an expedition commander right i was hoping you'd get this from the campaign um that was of course wishful thinking on my part that was just there was nothing confirmed about that that was just me hoping that would be the case um i thought that the scene was set perfectly for that right because we have him fighting ethel flood which is you know the whole point of the campaign and the new kvk um but even if they didn't do that which is fine uh you know I, I feel like there there might have been an opportunity for this to be um more creative I guess 
like this doesn't really seem that creative it's just login and you get it which again it's fine it's a free it's a free legendary right so i'm not really complaining but they could have done like a free unlock and then put him as like a kvk reward for the new king of all Britain uh kvk maybe they will do that right who knows maybe he'll show up in the kvk shop who knows how we're gonna get him later um that is not confirmed yet but regardless uh, this is what it is so I wanted to bring you guys this update let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other Rise of Kingdoms players might see it and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a Rise of Kingdoms video we are so close to 80,000 subscribers which is insane thank you all who have been subscribing lately and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace